you watch my channel, you know what a Viseart fan I am. I think they just have some of the greatest quality eyeshadows. And I'm really excited to see that they actually are re-promoting two Petty Pro palettes that I love for the summertime. So they're only going to be available for this summer, which is perfect because they are the perfect summer palette. On Beautylish, they actually have re-promoted the Petty Pro Shushu palette and the Soleil palette. I have both of them. I already have full dedicated videos on these. It is always a good time though for me to bring out older palettes on my channel that are actually relevant and these are relevant because they're just re-promoted. So these were both available. Soleil was a few years ago. Shushu was a couple years ago. Then they were no longer available because they were limited edition and they're back for the summer. And the, the perfect summer palettes. So I'm going to show you them today. I'm a little sweaty right now, <laughs> but let's get into it. I actually saw that you can get these on the Viseart website as well. I'm a huge fan of shopping off of Beautylish because their customer service is fantastic and their shipping is like literally lightning speed. <laughs> I don't know how they do it, but from what I've seen, these are only gonna be available for the summertime. Whether or not that's true, I don't know. But Soleil right here, this is actually one of my all time favorite Petty Pros. I think you can get the prettiest sunset kind of look. I'll insert a photo of the original look that I did, which is still a look that I remember and love, and it was with this palette. And then the Shushu palette is such a fun, bright pink palette. I actually brought this with me to travel all of last summer because of how tiny it is. And you can get like really neutral, warm orange looks for the summertime with fun pops of pink. So I thought that this was really fun for vacation. And they are so, so, so tiny. I love them, they're only $30. So it's a great way to get a taste of Viseart quality at a less hurtful price. And like I said, these are some of the most travel-friendly, vacation-friendly palettes, especially with the color story here. Let's swatch them. I think we're going to start off with Soleil. Now, what's awesome about both of these palettes is my packaging is bland and boring, but they've since updated the packaging. You get cute little designs on them. You'll see my Soleil palette is just a simple yellow, but it has, I don't know, some cute little artwork, which I appreciate. If you didn't know, these guys are able to be mixed and matched with other palettes palettes as well. Viseart has other palettes that have sizes like these to also mix and match with and it's only $30. Swatch these. So here is a better look at the colors. You have a nice mix of mattes and shimmers. So I think we'll do the warm quad first and then we'll do the purple quad. Just like this. Now keep in mind, this palette that I have is a couple years old now, so they might not be as fresh, but honestly, Viseart shadows hold up super well over time. They're one of the longest lasting eyeshadows in terms of holding up their integrity for a while. So that's the warm side. Now let's get the purple-ish side, because you'll see we have a bone color, a reddish color, plum, and then this really fun purple. This palette is just so fun, is it not? I know the purple swatched bad, but Viseart shadows usually swatch bad. That's one thing to know, but they usually apply really, really good. But I want you get, to get the idea of the color story here. All right, let's put this on the eyes. Let's play with them. I'm going to go ahead and use my Kaleidos Tone Activator Primer. This is probably my all-time favorite eyeshadow primer, except that it is a hot mess and spills everywhere. <laughs> but once it's down, I always love it so much. In case you're curious about the finer details of these palettes while I get this primer down, they are made in the USA. They have a 36-month shelf life. That's like the longest I've ever seen from any eyeshadow brand, Viseart Shadow always last 36 months. 8 grams of product or 0.28 ounces. So as you could see, they are very small in size, but that's how they're able to make them a little bit more affordable. And they are cruelty free as well. I'm just going to wing it with this. <laughs> no idea how this is going to turn out, but I'm going to start off with the bone shade right here. And gonna set my brow bone with this and you guys can't hear my little nasally <laughs> I'm just trying to make this video a chill video short and sweet because I do have COVID right now not bad don't worry about me I'm literally fine <laughs> I'm just congested and I'm a little hot <laughs> right now but I'm good luckily I'm just staying at home trying to entertain myself by making videos but keeping them simple Okay, next up, I'm just going to go ahead and use the same brush, and we're going into this vibrant yellow, and I am going to just blend this in the inner half of the crease. I want to show you the intensity and the pigmentation. 
So it's really, really soft, but you can have more vibrance to it if you build it up or if you use like a brighter base underneath. And this purple, I mean, it's swatched horrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. So I just want to show you how Vizzy Art's shadows definitely translate on the eye a lot, a lot better. I'm going to blend that into the yellow. Now my favorite look ever that I did with this palette is I started off with the yellow and purple and then I actually used one of the reddish shades to meet in between and it was so pretty. I recommend you try that but I want to show you a little bit of a different look. Can you see how pretty this is working out? This is why I love Busy Art. Just really great quality shadows. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the gold shade. And we are going to put this on the inner half of the crease, or not the crease, the lid. I'm going crazy. Like this. I think the outer purple crease is just so pretty. And then there is this shade right here, which is so pretty for this summer. It's like a copper shade, and I'm going to put that in the middle. And then we're going to go back in with the purple to bring that back. So I'm building that up in the center. Don't be afraid to go back. And then we're getting in with the purple. Okay, I'm just going to quickly clean up on the under eyes. I'm going to put down some concealer and powder, and then we'll work on the lower lash line. Give me one second. Okay, so we're going to play around a bit with the lower lash line. And I want to start off by actually using the darkest reddish shade. And I'm going to put this along the outer half of the lower lash line. It's going to pull together the warmth on the eyelid as well. See, I love this palette so much because you can get such fun looks. And all of these colors, while it looks like a colorful palette, it, they end up so cohesive with whatever look that you get. Okay, and I'm just gonna take a pinch more of the purple and I'm gonna put it in the outer like fourth of the lower lash line just to make the purple and the red make sense together. And then I'm gonna use this beautiful blue purple shifty shade and this is a refer number three brush. And this is gonna go on the inner half of the lower lash line. Just wanna bring again some of the reddish shade out. This look is so fun. When we get liner and lashes, it's going to pull together. But before we do that, let's work on this eye with the Shushu palette. Now, the Shushu packaging right now, so much cuter than what I have, this boring <laughs> packaging. Look at this. You have little starfish and beach volleyballs. Now, this, okay, I like the Soleil more just in terms of color story. It's more in my style. But Shushu is the perfect summer palette. This I've actually ended up using more in the past than Soleil because I love to bring this for vacation, like I said before. So let's swatch these. So we're going to go ahead and do this first quad right here. There we go. You can see that better. I don't know if you can see, but look how dimensional and gorgeous this shade is. And then we kind of have a duochrome orange. Let's swatch. So again, oh my gosh, look at that. That shade's incredible. And pink and orange in my opinion, is such a beautiful color combo for eyeshadow. Let's get the other shades here. You have this crazy silver, which is phenomenal quality. Kind of random, I think, to have the silver here, but it does give the palette a little bit more variety. So that is the Shushu palette. Again, the orange and pink eyeshadow palette of your dreams. Let's put it on. So again, I'm using my Lidos Tone Activator. Going on first as per usual. The Vizzy Art Primer is also good, but I like the Kaleidos just because it blanks out the eyelid since I don't have concealer down yet. To start, just like with the first palette, the Soleil, I'm gonna use the Bone Shade and I'm gonna set underneath my brow. This is one of my favorite things to do. Just like this. I'm gonna take a little bit of the pink shade and I'm gonna focus this on the inner half of my crease. Not even the inner half, I would say the inner third, but you can see it is quite bright, yes? <laughs> Just like this. I will leave it at that. I'm gonna take a little bit of this soft peach shade. Love that they have this because this helps the looks become more wearable. I use this shade a lot and I'm just gonna run this a little bit above the pink as you can see and I'm gonna run it all the way back. I wanna bring a little bit more of the pink back again. And then we are going in with this hot, hot coral shade and I'm gonna use this on the outer half of the crease. You can see it has more peach to it than the hot peach. 
pink shade. So pretty. Not a ton of depth with this palette. It's gonna be like a super bright summery eye. But all of these shades are good one and done eyeshadows as well. I just wanna show you all of the options that you have. Next, I'm gonna pop into the silver shade because it's insane, you guys. <laughs> the quality of this. So I'm gonna fill that in the inner quarter of my eyelid. Okay, just like this, and you can see how reflective it is. And I'm gonna take the refer number three brush, which is a pencil brush, and we're gonna go into the silver, and I'm gonna run it a little bit higher, just like this, through the crease. And this is gonna pop through on the shadows that we put underneath. Not wetting my brush or anything, but it does the work on its own, you know? Okay, and then we're gonna go into the hot pink shade right here. I'm gonna tilt my head back because this one has a little bit more fallout, and I'm gonna fill in underneath the silver just like this all the way throughout the rest of the lid and I'm gonna touch up all of the shades and then I'm gonna take a little bit more of this hot coral shade which I would love to see this all over the lid on its own I'm just gonna press that on the outer corner just to bring the look back to life. I feel like this pulls it together. Okay, cool. Let's clean up on the under eyes and then we'll work on the lower lash line. For lower lash line, we're gonna keep it really simple and similar to what we have going on at the top. So I'm gonna take some of the hot pink shade and I'm gonna run this on not going so deep into the inner corner all the way to the tear duct, but this is kind of going in the inner half of the lower lash line like so. This is a Wayne Goss number 19 brush. And then I'm gonna go into the hot coral shade and I'm gonna run this on the outer half of the lower lash line, like so. And this kind of brings it all together. Taking the refer number three brush, we're gonna start off in this shade, which is probably my favorite in the palette. And I'm gonna run this in the center of the lower lash line. And then we gotta bring the silver down here as well. So I'm using that same refer number three brush and I'm trying to keep it high. I don't want it to go too low. So I'm keeping it pretty tight to the inner third of the lower lash line, like so. Ooh, this one is fun. I don't think I've ever created a look that's so fun with this palette. Okay, liner and lashes, and I'll be back to show you the whole shebang that we have with both of these palettes. The final looks with liner and lashes. So here's with the Soleil palette. I think this one is so fun. An evening summary is a way that I would describe it. And then we, of course, have the daytime fun bright pink eye. Truly, truly a summer look. Again, I'm gonna link down below the other looks that I do with these palettes because they are also super duper fun. They're a couple years old, but definitely worth a look. I still love both of the looks that I created. You guys know, as a Viseart fan, I'm just really, really excited to see that they brought these back because these two palettes are super duper awesome for the summertime. I stand by the quality on them. The packaging is even cuter, and I think they're a great value as well. So I just found it to be the perfect excuse to pull these out and play with these and give these guys some love. And if you already have them, this is your sign pull these out and go ahead and use them. I will have the links down below if you are interested in purchasing these palettes, interested in trying out Viseart in general. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and liking this video and being subscribed to my channel. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.